this is Sherwin from Sherwin Vengers and welcome back to my YouTube channel and guess what we have to talk a lot of things with this you know hottest issue maybe two weeks now have passed but um, let's just have an update for this issue as it's always going to my Facebook feed so all right let's start with this for today's vlog all right guys so I will make a short story about my cousin's life before she was an OFW long time ago at Hong Kong but when she joined and got the membership of Kappa she stopped the work and took her kids with her from that time she got the membership until at this moment sad to say there is are many issues that arise and um, let's see what will be the final decision for the operation of this organization so I want to share to you the life of my cousin You know, the life of a domestic helper, it's really hard. You have, you have um, insufficient sleep and anytime your employer will call you, you are you know, obliged to, to respond in any work, even if your body cannot endure you still will work because you are inside their houses all right so when she have joined the Kappa ministry from a simple living to sufficient and abundant living now and what is the reason because she had joined and was always a loyal member to God ministry she really have a good life now because of God ministry As you can see, these people that I am pointing now are not crazy to support for Kappa if Kappa did not fully fulfill what's, their, what's in their promises. So as you can see, I am pointing now different people in different places in different times supporting and shouting for Kappa to operate again I'd like to express to him that I'm really thankful for for the good government governance in the Philippines now he so safe and I feel so proud because we have the president Duterte, the best president ever in the Philippine history. But um, yeah, I feel the the concern of the president for his people, for his countrymen. So do I. I feel the same. 
he wants the Filipino to you know be safe <clears throat> before anything happens. Yeah, I got your point, Mr. President. But there is a but. Still, there is no. There is still um, no complainant for a Kappa Ministry. So please consider. Maybe you can consider it for now because there are a lot of um, indigent Filipinos who are having a good benefit to this Kappa ministry and Mr. President I want to, to ask you for your favor may this Kappa will continue and if something happened all right so let's just look after for the responsible person who did the scam who did uh, who did uh, you know who will do who will be taking the money of those donations so in the case May you consider this one for now or for more years to come if there is no complainant so that means it's not a scam it's an effective tie for you as a government as the president it's an effective bond for the two of you because you are maintaining the peace and order for the country and also the good projects and infra infrastructures so for the Kappa ministry they are trying to uplift the lives of the people the poorest people so this is a good bond for the both of um, sectors the government sector and the private sector which is the Kappa ministry so mr president i am so happy to have you as my president and every human being in this world you are your name is almost uttered many times as best leader and as best protector of all the Filipinos please Mr. President I'm not a member of Kappa but I feel their prayer rallies I know nobody cares for you know nobody cares for what I'm saying but only I just I just show my sympathy as a human being I feel that so please share with me your comments for those who are not yet subscriber to my channel please do subscribe and hit the notification bell for more video updates and peace out